Good morning children. So let's continue. 10.6 measuring the length of a curved line. So we cannot measure the length of a curved line directly by using a meter scale. Yeah? Can we use it? No. We can't use it with a scale. So we can use a thread to measure the length of a curved line. Let's see how it is to be done. Activity number 4. This is very very important uh, paragraph. Many a time this question is asked children. So use a thread to measure the length of a curved line AB. So we have to measure from A to B. Okay. From this A point to B point. Now put a knot on the thread. So we are putting a knot on the thread. Okay. Near one of its end. So that we know that from here we started the started our measurement or counting. Place this knot on the point A. So now place a small portion of the thread along the line. Okay. Like this they are doing small small portion then small small portion like this you have to go along the line. So place the small portion of a thread along the line keeping it taut. Taut means tight rakhna using your fingers and thumb. Okay. Use the thread at this end point with one hand. Using the other hand stretch a little more portion of the thread along the curved line. Means you have to move ahead with one hand you have to put here then another hand you have to keep. One hand you will keep here. Stretch then bring the first hand here and second hand will go here. So like this you have to keep moving. Okay. Now use uh, sorry. Uh, stretch a little more portion of the thread along the curved line and then go ahead on repeating this process till the other end B of the curved line is reached. Make a mark on the thread where it touches the end B. Now stretch the thread along a meter scale. So once the marking is done, so there you mark or again you can put a knot, another knot. So from here to here, from this point to that point, you have to measure it. Now measure this length of a thread onto a scale. Okay. Measure the length between the knots in the beginning and the final mark on the curved thread. Either you put a mark on the thread or you make an another knot where you stopped. This gives the length of a curved line maybe. We see that we need a we need a lot of care to ensure that we are measuring distances of lengths correctly, and we need some standard units and devices which we measure these distances and can convey our results to others. So finally, what we decided that there should be a standard unit and devices with which we can measure the distances. And result should come correctly. Okay. Now activity number. Sorry. Activity number 5. Sorry. 10.7 moving around things. Activity number 5. Think of some objects that you have seen recently. List them in the table 10.4. These may include school bag, a mosquito, a table, people sitting on the chair. Or moving about. The list may also have a butterfly, a dog, a cow, a hand, a small baby, a fish in the water, a house, a factory, a piece of stone, a horse, a ball, a bat, a moving train, a sewing machine, a wall clock or a hands of a clock. Make your list as large as you can. Which of these are moving which can be at rest? So either movable thing, whatever you see around you, you have to write. And then you have to write whether these objects are at rest or they move. 
okay so like this how did you decide whether an object is in motion or rest you might have noticed that the bird is not at the same place after some time while the table is at the same place isn't it you find birds here and then another bird moves there then we find the same bird here and two minutes before you saw here and then after two minutes they move somewhere else but when you see a table it remains at the same place so on the basis of that you may have decided whether the object is at rest or in motion isn't it so look at the motion of an ant closely how are their motions you can see how they are moving they are moving in random direction so select a place where you find ants spread a large sheet of a white paper on the ground and keep a little sugar on it ants are likely to be attracted to the sugar or and you will find many ants crawling on the sheet of paper soon for any one ant try and make a small mark with a pencil near its position when it just crawl on to the sheet of a paper keep marking its position after a few seconds it moves along the sheet of a paper after some time shake the paper free of sugar and the ants connect the different points you have marked with arrow okay to show the direction in which the ant was moving okay you can see these are then here the marking is done with the help of line and then you they have put the arrow means from this direction to that direction the ant has moved okay so this is the motion of an ant so each point of each point you have marked shows where ant moved to in internal in inter in a in interval of a few seconds motion seems to be some kind of a change in position of an object with time this is the definition motion seems to be some kind of a change in position of an object with time okay now in activity number 5 where did you place the object like clock the sewing machine of an electric fan sewing machine or an electric fan in your grouping of object are those objects moving from one place to another no but do you notice movement in any of their parts the blades of fan or the hands of clock how are they moving though the machine the sewing machine is not moving the, but the needle of the machine is moving right the fan is not moving from one place to another but the blades of the fan they are moving right so how are they moving is the movement similar to the fan to that of an ant or a train let us now look at some types of motions which will help us to understand this so now we'll see types of motions you may have observed the motion of a vehicle on a straight road march pass of soldiers in a parade or falling of a stone while kind of what kind of motion is this sprinters in a 100 meter race also move along a straight track can you think of more such examples from your surrounding so here what they are moving they are moving how they are moving they are moving in a motion and when they are moving in a motion means they are moving in a straight line you can see rectilinear so linear is a line so when they are moving in a straight line so the motion along the straight line is called rectilinear motion so sprinter in a 100 meter race or soldiers in a parade or falling of a stone these are all the examples of rectilinear motion all right moving ahead
the motion of you can see here activity number 7 take a stone tie a thread to it and whirl it with your hand observe the motion of stones we see that the stone moves along a circular path so in this motion the distance of the stone from your hand remains the same this type of motion is called circular motion so here are few examples of the circular motion this is also rotating in circular motion this is also rotating in circular motion this is also rotating in circular motion right so these are the few examples so the motion of a point marked on the blade of an electric fan or the hands of a clock are the example of circular motion. The electric fan or clock by themselves are not moving. Okay. From one place to another. But the blades of the fan rotates and so do the hands of the clock. If we mark a point anywhere on the blades or of a fan or on the hands of a clock, the distance of this point from the center of the fan or the clock will remain the same as they rotate. Okay. Center of the fan. So, always you will find this distance always remains the same. The distance from the center to the circumference to the bed, end of the blade though they are rotating but this distance this distance this distance they will remain the same okay so in some cases an object repeat its motion after some time this type of motion is called periodic motion. Take the stone tied with a string that you used in activity number 7. Now hold the string in your hand and let the stone hang from it. Okay, This is a pendulum. Pull the stone to one side with the other hand and let it go. So you have to make like this this is the thread and there is a stone so you have to hold it here now bring the stone from other hand to this end okay so what's happening here you're bringing the stone here what happened it moves here and then it goes there isn't it so it will go here so just like a pendulum it moves from here and then come back here yeah move like this here like this okay so sorry so this is the the pendulum this is how the pendulum moves so pull some stone to one side with the other hand and let it go now pendulum is in motion it is an example of periodic motion, a branch of a tree moving to and fro. Okay, the motion of a child on a swing, strings of guitar or a membrane of the drums being played are all the examples of periodic motion. Okay, so pendulum, the movement of a pendulum, the branch of a tree moving to and fro motion of a child on a swing string of the guitar or the membrane of the drums being played you have to write all this or are the examples of the periodic motions okay now an object here you can see these are all the examples of periodic motions an object or a part when it repeats its motion after the fixed interval of time did you observe a swing machine a sewing machine as a part of the activity uh, as a part of activity 5 
you must have observed that it remains at the same place same location while any point of its wheel moves in a circular motion it has a needle that moves up and down continuously as long as the wheel rotate isn't it so what is happening in a sewing machine you have a wheel which rotates in circular direction and you have a needle which moves up and down up and down that's a periodic motion yeah so it is repeating the motion same kind of motion after a fixed interval of time the time which it which it takes to move up the same interval of time it takes to go down okay and it repeats it so that's motion that motion is called periodic motion and along with the circular motion so there are two types of motions happening in the sewing machine okay so this needle is all going in under periodic motion because at a fixed interval of time it is repeating the motion okay have you observed closely the motion of a ball along the ground here a ball is rolling on the ground rotating rotating as well as moving forward along the ground so it rotates also the ball rotates right and it moves ahead so thus the ball undergoes into rectilinear motion as well as rotational motion isn't it because the ball rotates as well as it moves forward along the ground so it shows rectilinear as well as rotational motion can you think of other examples where other objects undergo combination of types of different motions you have to think and you have to tell me after this video why did many measurement activities activities and and discussed why did many measurement activities and discuss some kind of we did many kind of activities and discuss some kind of motion here so we are done with the measurement how to measure the straight line what are the different um, devices to use the <coughs> sorry different devices to use the measurements and uh, we saw the motion in a change motion is a change in the position of an object with some with time the change in this position can be determined through distance measurement this allows um us to know how fast or slow the motion is the movement of a snail on the ground a butterfly flitting from flower to flower a river flowing an aeroplane flying moon going around the earth and the blood flowing inside your body shows that there is motion everywhere around us okay so motion is there everywhere around us children yeah so here we are done with the chapter